lyrics to all your fucking songs, man. Don't nobody know if rap had a draft, y'all wouldn't ever go pro. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of The Locker Room. I am your host, man. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Reggie. Now, if you guys don't know, Steve Nash has been fired as the Brooklyn Nets head coach. Me personally, I felt like Steve Nash never had a fair shot because if you guys remember, Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant said on a podcast that they did not need a coach. What you think about Nash being that? Being on the sidelines for us. Tell us about the secret meeting where y'all where y'all hired him. Or yo, the relax, team or yo. whatever the narrative yo. is. <laughs> 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 yeah. So what happened? We have been planning. We have been planning a a, a change, m- maybe for the last few months. That was fucking crazy. Maybe for the, maybe for the last few months. <laughs> that was... Maybe for the last few months. But first of all, I want to give a shout out to Kenny Atkinson because, you know, some people came out and was like, yo, Kai and KD got Kenny fired. And look, that was completely false. Listen, Kenny was great for the group that he served. And I was very appreciative of, of what he was giving us um, throughout the season when we were playing. We always heard how great Nash was or saw how great Nash was as a player. But also, when you get to know him as a person, you understand why he can coexist with us because we don't need somebody to come in and put their coaching philosophy on everything that we're doing and change up the wheel and, yo, you guys need to start doing this. And we start running on the first day of practice. It's just like, no, (laughs) I want want somebody. I need somebody that's going to understand that I am a human being first. I serve my community and where I come from first. And then basketball is something I come and do every single day because I love. And also I have the right ingredients and people around me to come in and do my job at a high level. And I know that they will hold me accountable to that level. There's no disrespect to Kenny or any other coaches I play with. It's just Steve coming in at this moment and then following up with putting together a great coaching core was going to make us more successful. Do you and Steve have a relationship already? Y'all have only been able to play a few times against each other, right? You coming in when you did? Yeah, I gave him. I gave him twenty six and nine. I like to remind him. I, <laughs> I don't. I don't play them games with Steve, but no, uh, Coach. I was the first. He said I was the first person to call him Coach Nash, but I call him Steve. Steve is great, and I have a a relationship with him that's going to build over time, bro. Like Steve don't know me from anything he heard, or mm. you know anything that he's heard else or we've worked out one time in 2014 um but it's it's grown as just a respectful relationship from afar i saw him at the hall of fame two years ago gave him a big hug and now he's the head coach you know and i and i think it's also going to change the way we see coaches i don't really see us having a head coach you know what i mean like i kd could be a head coach i could be a head coach jock vaughn could do it one day it could, it could be it can be ladies and gentlemen man listen Shout out to Steve Nash. In my opinion, he never really got a real shot to really show what he could do. Because guess what, man? Kyrie Irving had no respect for Steve Nash to begin with, right? And we heard it in that clip. So hopefully Steve Nash can get another head coaching job, man. And I wish his coaching career the best. Because unfortunately, man, you know, his first head coaching job, he had to coach the basket case. That is Kyrie Irving, man. If you guys don't know at this point, man, Kyrie Irving, he's literally destroying every situation that he's been a part of. Destroyed the situation in Cleveland with LeBron. Um, You know, ran out of Boston up there. Had a pretty good situation with a young Jason Tatum and a young Jalen Brown. They just got to the final. And now he's in Brooklyn, destroying the Brooklyn Nets before Kyrie and KD showed up, actually had a very good culture, man. So it's sad to see it all come, you know, crashing down. But, you know, it is what it is, man. We're going to take a quick listen to what Charles Barkley had to say about the situation. Just a bad look. And from from a public perception, you let these players run this man off his job because they were acting like fools. The players, this is all on Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and Ben Simmons. This, Steve Nash is just a scapegoat, and it's really unfortunate. I don't know if Steve Nash is red or back or whatever. This thing was never going to work when he mm. said, we don't need a coach. When they get, <laughs> It's not like we have a coach, like we're, we're all the yeah, coach. We're all the coach. Kyrie and so on, And, yeah. you know, I was watching these shows today. This team did pretty good in the playoffs like three, four years ago. 
So nobody was talking about how bad of a coach Steve Nash was three or four years ago. All of a sudden, these guys started acting like fools and jackasses. And now, oh, Steve Nash can't coach. Like I say, I don't know if Steve Nash yeah. can coach. But I Listen, man, shout out to Charles Barkley, man. I pretty much agree with everything he said, man. They're just trying to scapegoat Steve Nash because the Brooklyn Nets couldn't get the job done. It is what it is. At the end of the day, Steve Nash can't get out there and play for Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, and he damn sure can't play for sorry-ass Ben Simmons. Stupid. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, Ime Udoka, if you guys don't know, was rumored to become the next head coach with the Brooklyn Nets. As you guys can see on the screen, man, this is from the NBA Central on Twitter. They say there has been some concern from women in leadership positions within the Nets about hiring Ime Udoka. <laughs> the Brooklyn Nets owner, Joe Sy, is getting some blowback and there's too much potential drama. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to say this, but it doesn't look like Ime Udoka is going to coach again. I believe that they are going to make an example out of Ime Udoka and it really does sadden me because Ime Udoka in my opinion was one of the best head coaches we had in the league last year as a rookie head coach took the Boston Celtics to the NBA finals but because he had a scandal with a married woman within the Boston Celtics organization it looks as if man he won't be a head coach again so pray for Ime Udoka man um this is shocking news to me right as you guys can see um it says here that Adam Silver may have stepped in regarding the hiring process of Ime Udoka. So, like I said, this is very, very, you know, ugly at this point, right? When 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 you got people out here literally campaigning on the internet for Ime Udoka to never be a head coach again, man, it's not looking good for him. Like I said, in my opinion, I don't really feel like what he did should warrant him not getting another head coaching job. Is the suspension warranted? Sure. But like I said, the dude is a great head coach. That can't be denied. And I do believe that Ime Udoka should coach again. But listen, that's pretty much all I got for this video, man. Come into the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the reports of Ime Udoka possibly not becoming the Brooklyn Nets head coach, man, after it was reported that he would become the Brooklyn Nets head coach. Do you think this is fair, what they are doing to Ime Udoka? Um, I can be honest with you guys, man, if they bring Ime Udoka in, it is going to be a shit show, right? I can see the New York media having a field day when it comes to asking him questions and things of that nature. So it might be best, man, for the Brooklyn Nets to just go ahead and stay away from him. They already have enough drama with Kyrie and KD. So... Let me know in the comments down below, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. This was another installment of The Locker Room. Peace.